And then we can turn into Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sure. Yeah, but it's technically possible wow. to have like a little delay. You can do uh, Will Smith. <laughs> I, I don't exactly have the hairstyle, but the face. <laughs> and it's funny because it does all the eye gaze and uh, the eyebrows. That's quite funny. <laughs> it's going to make the world a scary place with uh, people. Uh, you know, believing whatever comes uh, to their screens. The purpose of this project is really to, uh, you know, create awareness about the potential dangers of video manipulation technologies and specifically for uh, deepfake ones. A deepfake is a technology that allows you to actually swap with someone else's face. So I can turn myself into someone else and um, you can do this instantly. And the most scary, scary thing is that it feels like you're stealing someone's identity and you can put anything you want into their mouth and you can make them do whatever you want. The most important thing is actually that people know that this is possible, right? Uh, if they wouldn't know, then they could easily be fooled. Uh, if they know that there are uh, ways to actually create video manipulations that are extremely uh, believable, then you know we we will have some way of protection, right? You can say, for images, it would be like you know it could be photoshopped, right? And before it wasn't the same thing for video, but now it is, right? Now there are chances that you can actually modify the thing that you want. From our experience here, actually, we found out that many people didn't even know about deepfakes, and when they see it, um, they're you know, kind of like two groups. One group is people who, you know, find it very entertaining, which is normal because one use of the deepfakes is for like satire and comedy. And then the other one is actually for harmful purposes. And that's one thing that I think became very clear through this installation because people immediately think of, wow, you know, it looks, it looks so convincing. I could be that person. You know, it's actually scary because I don't even need any, uh, you know, any production behind. I can instantly just turn myself into someone else, stream myself to uh, people, and you know, even if some of the things that you see right now have little imperfections, it's likely that in a few months it will look, you know, a lot better. Yeah, it was very impressive, yeah, it was amazing to think that they can do that sort of stuff so quickly as well. I think for me it was more about the speed, that you could just take a face and map it onto another face quite so instantly. It seems a little intimidating.